Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about the innovation at Compass Minerals, which is the automation of our continuous miner. At Compass Minerals, we use continuous miners to mine all our rock, up to a million tonnes every year. The continuous miners are operated by a single person using a remote control unit. The challenges are that each operator has to be in close proximity to the machine. What this means is that they are exposed to quite a bit of dust off the machines and the noise can be up to 100 decibels. Sometimes they work in quite close proximity to the machine because it's a confined space that they're working in. These offer inherent risks to the operators. And although they're well trained, we'd be much happier if operators weren't in the proximity of the machine when it's cutting rock for us. The project we undertook was to automate each of the continuous miners. This involved setting parameters in each miner so that it knew how deep to cut, how high and how low the cut should go, and when the machine should move forward. Each of the machines was given spatial awareness so that it knew where it was at any one time. And this involved installing additional equipment. The operator sits remotely from the vehicle in an office and just overlooks the operation to make sure that it's running correctly. At no point does the operator have to go anywhere near the machine whilst it's cutting. In addition to this, we also had to automate the equipment attached to the machine. As this slide shows, each machine has a walking tail end attached to it. The walking tail end moves forward with a conveyor as the machine moves forward. As you can see, the cut can go forward a number of meters before it needs to be reset. The next slide shows the automation of our conveyor system taking the rock all the way to the, to the mine shaft. The conveyor system stops and starts in tandem with the continuous mining system, so everything is in total alignment. So once the machine stops, the conveyor stops, and once the machine starts, the conveyor starts. This ensures that you don't get a buildup of rock um, and salt on the conveyor system when the machine stops or the machine starts. It all works very effectively. I'd like to share with you a couple of graphs. The first graph shows the miner when it's been operated manually by an individual person. As you can see, the cutting can be quite inconsistent. The other thing is different operators operate the miner in different ways. What this can lead to is inconsistent cutting patterns and inconsistent production. It also puts different wear and tear on the machine, which over time can mean that parts wear out quicker when different people are using the machine in different ways. The second graph shows the miner when it's being operated automatically. As you can see, the graph looks much more consistent. The cut height is always the same, the cut depth is always the same, and the parameters working over the machine are exactly the same each time. What this means is the wear and tear on the parts are also a lot less because the pressure systems put within the system are lessened. What automation shows is that not only is the operation much safer because the operator is no longer in proximity to the machine, but also product productivity is increased and wear and tear on the machine is far, far better. In conclusion, the automation of continuous miners has got to be the way forward. There's no longer the risk of employees being exposed to risks from dust, from noise, or from being crushed by the machine. Secondly, the machine operates at a much more efficient level. You get guaranteed production rates because you know how the machine's going to operate. And the wear and tear on the machine is much less, meaning there's much less downtime on the machine and, and less repair costs needed to keep it operational. Automation is the way forward for Compass Minerals. Thank you.